Oh, uh, hey, Vaughn, let me give you these before we go. There are all sorts of monsters out there, so you can never be too careful. Oh, okay, thank you. So far, you've been traveling by yourself, but now that I'm here, we can travel as a party. You can give me command. You can give commands to allies in your party, just like you've been doing by up to doing by yourself up to now. I'll make my own decisions about what to do too. But you can also give me specific commands, and I'll take care of those first. Got it? Sure. They now change leaders and issue party commands. Oh, one more thing. If you don't want me to fight on my own, you can always turn my gambits off. With my gambits turned off, I won't do anything until you give me the word. You should really think about using gambits for yourself, you know. They make managing a battle a lot easier. Right, this is the, uh... Uh... Pretty much... Self-playing part of the combat? Well, you ready to go? Sure. Uh... Do I get a tutorial? Vaughn, I think the gym was, was supposed to be somewhere to the south of the village. We might find him faster if we headed a different way. Oh, girl. We ain't going to Jin. We're going back to Rabinasta. But first, let's check... No, let's pause. Let's check out... What? Didn't you just tell me to look at the gambits? I don't... I am so confused. You just, like, were like, gambits? Do I gotta talk to you? Gambits. On? No. Oh, okay. So I can't actually do that part yet? Alright, I do remember the gambit system being pretty much... Well, easy mode. So, we're gonna kill this guy, and I'm gonna meet you guys over at, uh... What's-his-face? The... Therex Terra. Okay, there he is. But before we do anything, we actually need to heal up. Because, uh, I'm just bad. Alright, they're all healed up now. Let's go in here. I don't know what those lock things are, but alright. Um, Pinello, you need a class. What am I going to give it to? Or what am I going to give it to you, huh? Um, daggers, first aid, techniques, first aid. Why, why is everything first aid? Sacrifice HP. Yeah, maybe. Give you katana. Could make you a mage. You do have mage gear on right now, but you also have a dagger. Could make you an archer. Um, wither. Axes and hammers, crossbows. Oh, now we can see what... Okay, okay, no, you don't actually have weapons for the black and white mages. Time mages get crossbows. Interesting. Time, reflect, haste. I mean, haste would probably be amazing. Though I probably wouldn't be getting it anytime soon. We're not going to make you a mic... A mic? No, a knight. It's monk and knight combined. A, a, a might. Um, Because Vaughn's already won. Ooh, I should have thought about this before I actually came here. I don't know about making her a mage. I don't have any spells on me. Do I have any spells on me? How do I check that? Is that... In abilities? Yeah, I don't have any spells on me. So making her a mage would just be... Like... I mean, it'd probably be good to have a white mage in the long run, obviously. But we don't have cure or protect or anything like that at this point. Like, what can I even get with you? I mean, you already have two of those pieces of equipment. Uh, I don't know. Increases magic potency. Uh, I mean... It already has daggers, but I don't even know what kind of, like... You're just a dagger dude? Yeah, hmm. I mean, Black Mage would be good too, right? In the long run. Hmm. Yeah, but if I make her a Black Mage right now, I don't have any spells, and I don't really have the money to go get spells. Actually, to be quite honest, it doesn't really matter what I make her right now. It's not going to come to an effect. So, why don't we think of, like, the long run and make her either, like, a mage... Because she already has magic. She has magic, magic stats, but that could be her equipment as well. 
Uh, Archer, no. Boring. Katana would probably be awesome. Hmm. Make her... Or we could make her a monk, too. Just unequip her weapons, right? Unarmed? Does, would that come into play? This is HP. Leather cap. Oaken pole. What's this? First aid. Libra. Now, we can actually see what these are. I'm looking for something that's like... Increases unarmed attack. Oh, oh, this is it, right? Battle lore? That just says physical attack. You want to just make her a monk? And then she can go around punching the crap out of things? I think that's a good idea. Let's make her a monk. Yes! Chew all the comments going, no! Too bad, she's a monk. Uh, don't need that, because we only have one. Let's give her some more HP, because she needs it. Oh, we are... Dog, we are going to roll on that physical attack. I would love to, like, do everything else, though. Uh, do I attempt unequipping her weapons? What happens if I remove... If she loses two... I might as well keep her with the weapons, then. Oh, yeah, she needs more. Oh, she's gonna... Nope. Nope, she's not. I thought she was gonna use another potion on herself. All right. Let's... Go to town on this little wolfie over here. Come on. Let's do this. We kill one. There we go. We attack the other wolf, and we should be fine. With the damage spread out, it's not a big deal. I do need to heal you. You, She is dead. She is coming back to life, though. Hello. I'm going to take that. And now everyone do the do. Also, straight up, how are you, like, almost dead again? I can't. Did you die again? Girl, I, I have limited, limited, limited supplies. Well, this motherfucker poisoned me, too. Isn't that all oh, really, dog? In the most literal sense, did you just summon a wolf? You're dead now. I hope you're happy. Now we got to kill this other dog. You go down, too. And then I guess I'll meet you at the tavern to get our reward. And then... Oh, and then... We're gonna go back to the Giza Plain Nomad people. We're back, Gatsley! Give me my stuff. You did it! You brought down Thex Terra. Thank you, thank you so much. You saved me and my wife. This isn't much, but I want you to take it for helping us out. It better be a lot. You gave me headgear, teleport stone, and 500 gil. Thank you. Well, it's time I headed back to my shop. Say, would you stop by sometimes? Maybe I'll have a little something for you. I'm afraid it won't be much, but... All right, so don't go too far out of your way. If you happen to be near the bazaar, say hello. Agreed? Sure. Why not? Any new... <sighs> Flowering Clactoid rank one. Easter sand. Esther sand. Not Easter. Es well, I mean, maybe that's Easter. Um... Why are you in the Easter stands? Yeah, I'll take it. I mean, we ain't doing it right now, because we're going to, like, the Giza Plains. You're all the way up there? I mean, maybe I'll do that a little later, but not right now. Oh, we need to stop by What's-His-Face as I slap myself in excitement. Um, Mont Blank? Mont yeah, uh, that's his name. The clan dude. Give me something. You're a hedge knight already? I guess. I didn't know I leveled up. Uh, you've been burning the midnight oil, Kapu. Clan Centauro knows how to treat its hardworking members, Kapu. Here, a reward for your accomplishment. Um, so does that go up every time I kill something? 
Because I thought you just gave me stuff on uh, every time I kill something. No, just when I level up. How do I know when I level up? Clan Primer. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. It, it tells me right down there I'm a Hedge Knight. So when that goes up, I come back here and get something? You hunt map. Oh, sweet. That tells me where I need to go. That's dope. Bestiary. This is all the things I've killed. What am I missing there? Ooh, that dinosaur. Oh, God. I don't want to talk about that. Let's go back to the Giza Plains. All righty. We're back at the Nomad Village. And on the way back, well, we learned enough. Well, earned enough LP to expand our skill tree a little bit. Ooh, that sounds pretty dope. Eh, max. All right, let's uh, let's get this one first. That way, I can actually equip heavy armor now. Now, if we go over to Pinello, she can actually get the. Uh, I don't know why I wasn't showing it. There you go. Increases physical attack damage. So let's get that one, cause that sounds dope. And then we can get some light armor. I mean, I guess technically I should have went after like the. The, the first one first, but I definitely wanted to get over to... Oh, that's what I want. The brawler one. Ooh. Mm. It's still 14. It didn't actually do anything. I feel like I wasted my money. By money, I mean my LP. But I am going to come over here. And I am going to be like, yo, I would like some heavy armor, please. Um, by heavy armor, I mean like this leather stuff. It's gonna cost me a bit. Absolutely equipped. You're gonna increase my strength as well? Oh, damn dog, you've made me the happiest lady of all time. Okay, well, that's dope. Um, yeah, you can't equip that yet because I didn't get it because I didn't want you to actually use a weapon. I guess I can just bum rush it, right? So we want to go south. We want to go to that X on the map. That should be fine. I actually went over to the east side. If you notice on the map above, I was uh, <laughs> I went the wrong way for some reason. I didn't have my map open. I attacked the wrong hyena. Oh my god, it's a giant bird. That thing just wing attacked me. Yeah. Pinello's attack gauge actually, like, super goes up pretty fast. I'm gonna go ahead and use a potion on Pinello. There we go. Pinello, why aren't you attacking, girl? You were waiting for me to attack? My voice just went out for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, yes, protect on? Is that what that means? An Earthstone. You really just need to go self to that X, but good to well get an enemy off the bestiary list. Not that big of an area though. Yeah, so I guess if I bum rush Brawler, I don't have to worry about her having like to be dependent on weapons. Because I don't want her using a staff. That's boring. Alright, so you are literally right here, and there's a save point. Hello, Nomad Youth. Yeah, my name's Jin. What is it to you? Masura wants me to come back to the village, huh? Hmm. That could be a problem. Let's see. Maybe my leg's better now. Nope, no good. Still hurts. I tripped running from some monsters. Guess I pulled something. I'm never gonna get any stun zone made like this. I just needed to make one more to be finished for today. I didn't want to head back short, so I thought I'd give my lug a rest to try again. Why are you out here looking for me anyhow? Explain the situation. So you need a sunstone, huh? Well, if uh, Masaya, um, Masayua, Yura, I don't know, Masayua, doesn't mind, I'll give you a shade stone. But I'm still not sure I can walk yet. You'll have to turn into a sunstone, okay? Don't worry, I'll tell you how. 
You do know that we use dark crystals and shade stones to make sunstones, right? Thank you. There's your shade stone. As for the dark crystals, you'll find them all over the Giza Plains. Uh, this stone right here beside me is uh, is, this, is one of the smaller ones. The bigger crystals are of, uh, have something inside them that soaks up sunlight and shines really bright. See that one over there? If you take the shade stone I just gave you and bring it near one of those shining dark crystals, it will absorb the energy from it. There are four shining crystal, uh, dark crystals in Giza right now. If you have trouble finding them, just stop and scan the horizon. There is no way to tell how many, how much energy you can draw from one any one crystal without trying. You shouldn't need to use all four though. Okay, this gauge, <laughs> this gauge that magically appeared to the right of you will show you how much energy the shade stone absorbed. When it's full, you'll have yourself a sunstone. Once you've made the made the sunstone, bring it to me. I'll make sure it's up to snuff. I'll go ahead and mark the crystal of dark crystals on your map too. See you back there here when you're done. Okay, so you explain to me how to find them, then you're like, yeah, you know what? Don't worry about it. Just, uh, you know. Just, uh, I'll mark them on your map for you. There was one immediately over here, so we might as well go do that one. I don't know how, why they call these things dark stones, given the fact that they're glowing orange bright. Hold the shade stone up to it. I would have called these sun stones. And then I probably never would have done anything to them to discover that they're actually dark crystals. Um, then we'll come back over here, we'll bypass Ginny Mac, and we'll go to those two up there. Said we wouldn't need all four of them. I'm hoping we don't. I'm assuming it's not just gonna be one more, you know, like it's gonna be more than two. Probably? Probably. More hyenas, huh? I don't want to attack the Giza rabbit. I feel bad. I may have killed more on the way over here, but apparently they don't really give um, XP or LP. Which was shocking. I'm guessing it's because they're low level, and I think Vaughn leveled up, to be quite honest. You know what I should have done, actually? I should have stopped at that save point just to recover my health and MP. Okay. Who are you? We'll deal with that in a second. Oh, did you just do a double attack? Oh, we can't even attack him. That's that's a shame. You have, like, a shotgun. Hi, how's it going, buddy? Thank you? Can I talk to you? No? All right. Well, I'm just going to absorb the light from this crystal. Okay, so three. Fair enough. Not bad. Maybe this won't take so long after all. So this is what the kids of Giza Plane do to make their way. Maybe one of them will take you as an apprentice. Yeah, yeah. Let's just find the next crystal, okay? Also, are we going to talk about how the nomads are using child labor to profit? Because that seems like something only evil people would do. What? All right, so are we gonna attack that? Yeah. I'm gonna say yes. Yeah. It's sleeping. Slavin. Well, time to die, Slavin. Oh, we did a decent amount of damage to it. All right, cool. Nine, that's not too bad. What'd you give me? A tanned hide, huh? Kinky. I was actually worried it was gonna turn around and just like eat my face. Bun, can you do a double attack? Oh, maybe that's what that, uh... Oh, thank you for the, the healing, Rabbit. Maybe that's what the battle power... Ooh, Birdman. Yeah. Maybe that's what the, the increased battle power is that she got, that I learned. Maybe? I don't know. I've, I thought it would just, like, increase attack damage, but I guess adding air, extra hit every once in a while would be pretty good. Okay, so we gotta go back to Jin. Is 
sounds easy enough. I just gotta be We teleport back, all right. Hey, you got a sunstone. Let's take a look. Hmm, seems okay to me. Not bad for city folk. So here's what happened. Uh, Masiura always, war always warning us to stay away from the werewolves, right? Well, a bunch of us decided we'd have a little contest. See who's the bravest. I started out as it started out as Locke, but Tot said that none of us kids living on the plains should be scared of monsters. I guess I got carried away. You said werewolves? Or you mean the hyenas? Because I haven't seen any werewolves, buddy. Don't let any of the grown-ups know, okay, though, okay? Anyways, my leg's feeling better now. Let's head back to the village. I'll race you there. I'll race you. Try and keep up. No. I'm... Yeah, wave. Bye. Don't die. You run weirdly. I guess I'm not going to heal up. Are we just going to go back to the village? That's convenient. Jin made it back home and safe and, safe and sound. He's a good boy, but how his mind wanders. He never thinks the, of the worry he causes me. I'm sorry if he was any trouble. Please take these as my thanks. Um, I mean, you're skimping out on the gill a little bit, but thank you. Jin gave you a sunstone, yes? I hope it may be of some help to you. Cool? Is that it? Alright. Guess we'll head back to Robinesta. Right, I gotta go to Lowtown, don't I? Yeah, I gotta give, like, um, wannabe... Yoda there, uh, the Sunstone, correct? Man, the music got really, like, intense there for a second. Excuse me, but this is mine. Five gil, huh? Jesus. <laughs> hey, Vaughn. Hmm? It's been a long time since we did anything together. Too long. I had a really good time. You are an well, easy date. I should probably be getting back to the store. Actually, I was kind of supposed to be watching the place for Magello. And Vaughn, try to stay out of trouble. No I promises. Mean, I don't Maybe know for I'd you. Do if you weren't here, if something happened to you. I'll be really sad for I'm like a year or so, here. then get okay. over me and move on with That's your life. That's what I wanted to hear. See you later. Sorry, Pinello. Pinello leaves the party. That's actually disappointing because I wanted to go on that other hunt. I mean, there's a chance that it will be fine. Oh-ho! You've got a uh, sunstone, have you? I actually already forgot what you sound like. Hand it over, my boy, and I'll use it to give the crescent stone back its magic like I promised. Now you'll be wanting to know how to sneak into the palace, eh? First you go to Storehouse 5. You know the one. I do? Two doors she has. Now the right takes Ban Ratsbane to his territorial hunting grounds in the sewer bottom. But that's not the way you'll go. No, you'll take the left door down into the Garam Scythe waterway. The waterway leads to a stair. The stair to the palace cellars. That's your way in. But don't go counting your gill just yet, my boy. Getting into the palace was the easy part. The way into the treasury is carefully hidden. That's where this crescent stone comes in. The magics it bears can open the hidden door to the treasury, you see. Listen, Vaughn, for the words I shall speak are most important, and not to be forgotten. I am probably going to forget them. The Signet yearns for sunstone strength to light the clouded way. Once in the palace, you'll find the Signet tile. Very important. Give to it the sun's power, and it will light your path. Very well. Oh, a warning. Be aware that if you're caught, you'll spend the rest of your short life rotting in the Nalbina dungeons. So, look sharp, my boy. I mean, I'm gonna rat you out if I get caught. running off before you're ready. Plans freshly hatched have a habit of tumbling from the nest. 
straight into the hunter's stew pot. <laughs> That's why you shouldn't smoke, buddy. Okay, I obtained Crescent Stone. Dope. So... I guess if I want to proceed with the next story bit, I gotta go to that X? That sounds simple enough. Excuse me, but no? But no, well, you didn't just teleport me there, did you? Oh wait, you're the... Um, three through six are in place. They stand ready. So far, the Imperials haven't noticed a thing. Fossler, there you are. There it is, the name, Fossler. No, no, the others. By nightfall, we must ensure all our men are in place. Sir. Sir. That is a short skirt. That didn't advance anything, did it? All right, good. So that's going to be it for this episode. Next time, we're going to go up to uh, where was it? It was like in the Easter stands. And then we're going to go after that flowering cacti. And hopefully Vaughn by himself will be able to actually, you know, stand a chance against it. We'll see. But yeah, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press the like button below. If you're not subscribed yet, why don't you head to my video section, check out some other content, and see if it's to your liking. Once again, thank you for watching. I hope you all have a great day.